Hi. When some the electric undergoes an effect of external electric field, the molecules will be aligned in such a way that a large dipole moment will be constructed inside the dielectric. <clears throat> and this phenomena is known by depolarization. This polarization will give a rise to a couple of charge density, a volume charge density, which is uh, within the bulk of the dielectric material. And this is the volume charge density, denoted by rho sub p. And the other charge density is the surface charge density, which is localized at the interface between the dielectric, at the interface between the dielectric and the adjacent material, let's say a free space or whatever. These are the surface charge densities. Anyway, the surface charge the surface charge density is equal to the dot product product between the normal vector and the polarization vector. Or by other words, the surface charge density is equal to the component of the polarization, which is perpendicular to the surface, aligned with the normal vector. And the volume charge density is equal to the negative divergence of the polarization vector. Today, we will prove the correctness of these two equations physically. In a previous lecture, we have proved the correctness of these two equations mathematically and I, and I advise you to watch this video today we are going to prove this physically firstly I will assume the variable Q okay to denote uh, the magnitude of a single charge inside the inside the dielectric and I'm going to multiply Q by n where uh, which n is the number of charges per volume okay and this product and this product between the magnitude of the charge and the number of charges per volume will yield the charge density inside the dielectric now i want to use the product and q in order to find the total charge crossing the uh, the surface of the dielectric so i am going to multiply the charge density and q by the volume occupied by the charges on the surface delta v is the volume of the charges occupied is the volume occupied by the charges on this on the surface and this whole product will give us the total charge crossing the surface which i'm going to represent by delta q the total charges crossing the surface okay now this delta v the volume occupied by the charges on the surface is equal to the surface is equal to the surface of the dielectric the area of the surface of the dielectric times the width of this volume the volume that i am pointing to is these two volumes okay these volumes have these volumes has the area of delta s okay and and some width let's represent by this, this width by delta w okay and i'm going to make both of them vectors okay under the effect of the external electric field the charges the negative charges will accumulate on one side and the negative and the positive charges will accumulate on one side okay but due to the lack of free charges inside the dielectric so the dipole will be aligned in some way that negative charges is accumulate in one side and the positive charges are accumulated on the other side and the separation between the between uh, between both charges inside the dipole is represented by the vector d as d is representing the separation between the positive and the negative charge inside the volume so this volume is only containing the negative charge so the width of this volume is equal to d over 2 and as we have um, two surfaces as the negative charges are accumulate on one side so the positive charge will accumulate on the other side so we have the width of d over 2 from one side and the width of d over 2 from the other side 
so the total width is equal to d so the volume is equal to the volume is equal to the dot product between the surface the the surface area vector and d the separation between uh, the separation inside the dipole okay and we know that that this n this product n q d is equal to the polarization vector okay so i'm going to uh, substitute this inside this equation and this surface and this surface area vector delta s is represented uh, by this line you see here okay this direction is normal to the surface which i'm going to denote by a a sub n unit vector the normal vec the normal unit vector and it has a scalar ma a scalar magnitude which is the scalar area of the surface delta s okay now so this is going to be rewritten like this now i'm going to sub to divide both sides by delta s and do uh, and we are going to have and uh, this answer which i'm going to write down there and uh, and delta q we said is the total charges it's the total charge crossing the surface and delta s is the area of the surface the answer of this division is the polarization surface charge density and now we successfully proved that the polarization surface char charge density is equal to the dot product between the polarization vector and the normal unit vector to prove the and now let's prove the other equation although this d electric is got polarized and we have a couple charge density on the surface and uh, in the bulk of the d electric the total charge of the d electric is still zero so i can represent this by q total is equal to zero and the total charge is equal to the charge within the bulk of the dielectric let's uh, denote by q bulk plus the total charge on the surface let's represent by q subsurface and the charge inside the dielectric away from the surface is equal to the negative charge on the surface okay the charge inside the dielectric is equal to the um is equal to the volume integral of the volume charge density and the charge on the surface is equal to the surface integral of the surface charge density and we already proved that the surface charge density is equal to the dot product between the polarization and the normal unit vector so this can be rewritten re re as now i am going to use the divergence theorem which states that the volume integral of the divergence of some vector quantity is equal to the surface integral for this vector quantity so i'm going to substitute this term by this term and we and we will have and from this equality we can deduce that what's inside the integral is equal so we can reach to this deduction that the a volume charge density which is rho sub v or uh, we denoted previously by rho sub p okay i will write three rho sub p is equal to minus the negative divergence of the polarization uh, and now you see we successfully proved the uh, the second formula and that's the end see you